Hi, I'm Dave McCracken. As I was listening to my father's heartbeat this morning, early, I felt this phrase come through my own heart. Harness the wind. Harness the wind. And as I leaned in to think, well, Father, what are you saying with that phrase? I immediately saw the following picture, and I, I want you to let me describe it to you. I, I saw this great ocean yacht race with these massive great yachts, and suddenly over the uh, intercom, not the intercom, the radio, um, there came this alert, and it said, huge storm, uh, uh, intense winds heading your direction. Uh, yeah, you know, take safety precautions, um, batten down the hatches, um, uh, you know, really fierce sort of warning about the power of these winds that were heading for this uh, group of yachts in this race. And, and of course, everybody started to comply and, and pull down the main sails and, and wrap them up and strap stuff down and uh, all except one yacht. And as I was watching in my mind's eye, I saw this one yacht, and I saw the skipper says, hey, wait a minute, guys. He said this intense, powerful wind is heading our way. Uh, um, let's, why don't we just harness that wind? But it, it's not going in the direction we're going in. It's coming from the side. Well, let's then change tack. And so they changed tack and, and actually didn't take down the mainsails at all and the wind hit, and the wind got into those sails, and because they were willing to change direction to be uh, uh, in line with where that wind was coming from, they cut through the, the, it was incredible, the speed with which that yacht was now moving, it was pretty scary, they were hanging on like crazy, but brother, it was something else. And then as they began to harness that wind and gently tack away back to the uh, uh, original destination, but by a different route now, they, when the wind abated and, it, and suddenly there was relative calm again, there were so many miles ahead of every other yacht that they clearly and easily won the race. And I felt my father say to me, when the winds of adversity blow, and we know all about the COVID thing, when, when it seems like the message from everybody around us and the world and the media is batting down the hatches, get fearful, let's, let's get all the sails wrapped up and just hang on, just survive. I think my father is saying, no, 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 no. Listen to the whisper of my intention. Listen to the direction I will now take you in. Because the very wind that is blowing to bring such devastation to so many can actually be harnessed to propel you into the purposes of God redemptively for your communities and for your cities in a way that was never previously thought possible. My friends, I will guarantee something. Those who listen to the voice of God, harness the wind of the Holy Ghost in the middle of all of this that is going on around us in the storm, those who learn to harness it rather than fear it will in fact be propelled into God's purposes and God's intention. And when it all subsides, and so-called normality comes back, there'll be certain churches that are exploding at the seams, that have taken so much new territory, that have a new spiritual authority and prophetic awareness about them. Why? Because they haven't been intimidated by the storm. They've learned to harness the situation and see it work for God's intention. Oh, my friends, God's not given us the spirit of fear. But power, love, and a sound mind. Let's harness the, the, the situations that we find ourselves in. Let us harness that which the enemy means for evil and turn it by God's grace to good. 
and to per, the, the, the possession of new territory for the kingdom of God. Love you so much. I'm praying that every leader will harness the wind of God's intention and see the fruit in the days that lie ahead. God bless you.